Hey guys, welcome back to my second video where in today's lesson we are going to be solving two step equations. Um, things are going to get a little bit backwards. When solving two step equations, we work in reverse order of operations. Kind of like our reverse classroom, seems like we're doing everything backwards. We spent a lot of time at the beginning of the year with the order of operations where we said parentheses exponents, then you multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to go backwards. You're going to add and subtract before you multiply and divide. because just like in um, our lesson a couple of days ago, we're doing the inverse operation. We're trying to undo what has been done to X. So when we're undoing what's been done, we're gonna do it in the reverse order. So look at our first example. 5X plus two equals seven. So X is being multiplied times five, and then two is being added to it. So the first thing we're going to do is the second thing that's being done to x. We're going to subtract 2. So we're doing subtraction before we take care of the multiplication. When we subtract 2, we get 5 equals 5x. Now x is being multiplied times 5. That's where we have to divide in order to undo the multiplication. When we divide, we get x equals, and 5 over 5 equals 1. I feel pretty confident that 1's my answer, but I'm going to check because my directions told me to and just because I want to know for sure that I'm not making a mistake. <coughs> so 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2, that does equal 7. So I can confidently move on to my next problem. Number six, come over to the right here. We have a negative x. I want to show you what to do with a negative x. But before we take care of our negative, we've got it added to 18. So we need to undo the addition by subtracting 18 from both sides. 18 cancels with 18, and we have negative x equals a negative 50. Now, Technically, x is being multiplied times a negative 1. So to undo multiplication, we divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. That makes negative over negative is positive x over 1 is x. And then same thing happens to our negative 50. Negative over negative makes positive. So let's check and make sure 50 will give us the right answer. So I plug in 50 for x. It's a negative 50 plus 18. Does that equal negative 32? Well, remember way back we talked about integers. When you have opposite signs, you subtract and keep the sign of the larger value. And so 50 is bigger than 18 and 50 is negative. So our answer is going to be negative. And you can check it with your calculator or you can do the arithmetic and find out that negative 32 is equal to negative 32. Ka-ching! We've got that one correct. Jump down to number seven where we have a division problem. But before I worry about division, again, I need to undo the subtraction. The opposite of subtracting is addition. So we're gonna add nine to both sides. That makes the nine cancel. Remember, whatever we do to one side of an equation, we do to the other. We're keeping our teeter-totter. Um, we talked about it being like a teeter-totter. and We want it to be equal. If we subtract from one side, then it makes it lighter than the other side. So we're trying to keep everything equal. So we add 9 to both sides, and x over 7 equals, and 5 plus 9 is 14. Now x is being divided by 7. When I said x over 7, that's really a division problem. The opposite of division is multiplication. So I need to multiply both sides by 7 and x is going to equal a pretty big number, 98. Let's check it, make sure 98 works. 98 divided by 7, then we'll subtract 9 to see if we get 5. 
7 goes into 98 14 times, and 14 minus 9, I believe that will give us 5. So we are confident in our answer of 98. If you'll scroll on down to, actually let's go to the next page. I don't want to keep too much of your time. I know that my last video, some people complained it was lengthy. So we'll move on to number 12 on the back of your paper. I want to be sure we do one example of each style problem. We have 3 minus 3 fourths x. So before I take care of the 3 fourths, I need to take care of my 3. It's a positive 3, so I need to subtract 3 in order to make that 3 go away. We have negative 3 fourths x equals 6. Now, negative 3 fourths is being multiplied times x. So to undo multiplication, I'm going to divide by negative 3 fourths. Be careful, that means we're dividing by a fraction. Now we reviewed how to divide by fractions. If you have your calculator, 6 divided by negative 3 fourths should give you the same, the right answer, especially if you're using your fraction button. But I don't have a calculator with me, so I'm going to flip and multiply. That's the rule. When you divide by a fraction, you flip the fraction, which would make it 4 over 3. It stays negative, and I am multiplying. You flip and multiply. So 6 is understood over 1. 3 goes into 6 2 times. 2 times negative 4 should give me a negative 8. Now, if I did that too fast, you can rewind and watch me do that again. Dividing by a fraction, I flipped and multiplied. And I simplified because I don't have my calculator. And I can do 2 times 4. <clears throat> it's actually 2 times negative 4 gave me negative 8. So come up here and let's check 3 minus 3 fourths of negative 8. Does that equal 9? So it's 3 minus. I'm going to take care of 3 fourths of negative 8. 4 goes into 8 2 times. That 8 is understood over 1. <clears throat> negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Negative, negative right there is going to make positive. And 3 plus 6 is for sure 9. So we've checked it. If you look over at number 16, we have two x's. Oh, well then we can use that new tool that we learned called combining like terms. We can combine like terms. So when I combine like terms, I have a 7x and a negative 2x. 7x minus 2x. The negative 8 is still there. <clears throat> and 17 is what we're dealing with on the other side. 7x minus 2x gives us 5x minus 8 equals 17 and then that's as simple as the the problems we've been working. We add 8, 5x equals 25, divide by 5 and x equals 5. Okay, um, for the sake of time I'm not going to check that one right now but you always know that you can. Um, looking on down at number 18 Again, you would combine like terms, the x, the negative 4x, the 16, and the 4. Those are your like terms you would combine before you started solving the problem. And then we have a word problem. There is a typo in the word problem. I left off my one right there. Um, there's a band that needs $1,200 for a trip. So far, they've raised $430. They have five more fundraisers planned. Here's the equation, 430 plus five fundraisers. How much money do they need for, how much money do they need to raise at each fundraiser to earn their $1,200 that they need for the trip? So that's what we're trying to solve for is F to find out how much money they must raise how much money they must raise at each of the remaining fundraisers. So again, I'm going to do the reverse order of operations and subtract 430. And I get 5F 
equals 770 divided by 5 and F equals 154. Now I am going to check that. 430 plus 5 times 154. Does that equal 1200? So 430 plus 7 times, I mean 5 times 4 is 20. 25 is 7. Mm, 430 plus 770, that does check out, so I know that I've got it right. All right, that's the end of this video. Have an awesome day.